Is that like HIPAA with two P's? Yeah, yeah, H-I-P-P-A. H-I-P-P-A. Yes, HIPAA is spelled with two A's. It's H-I-P-A-A. You see, so it's it's hard for me to take you seriously because it seems like you don't know what you're talking about at all. How long are you going to be here? As long as I want. Okay, yeah. well, as long as there's people in here, we're not going to allow you to take pictures. So how are you going to stop me? I'm not going to engage you, man. I'm just not going to engage you. If you're not going to engage <laughs> me, then how are you going to stop me from taking pictures? Survey Raw here in the city of Seattle at a COVID-19 testing site operated by UW Medicine in conjunction with King County. Um, this particular site is at a state of Washington public health laboratory in the parking lot. Not remove your mask. He's instructed to do so. Hello. How you doing? Oh no, I'm not here for a test. I'm just looking around. Oh. Okay. Are you with U Dub? What's that? Are you with U Dub or? No, no. I'm just with the people. Oh, you're just recording. Yeah, oh. just an individual. Oh, okay. Everyone walks up. How's it going, man? Pretty good. Uh, what's with the camera? What's that? Oh, what's, what's with the camera? Oh, it takes pictures. Oh, okay. And video. Oh, I mean. Hmm. Why? You guys busy today? Um, waves and waves. And waves. And waves. Yeah, Do you have to have a um? An appointment to come here? It's encouraged, but... But you can just walk up? It's encouraged. Want to have an appointment, but what's with the camera? Someone asked. Are you talking to me? Yes. Oh, because oh, yeah, you're sorry, like sorry, looking sorry, over there. What's with the camera, though? I just want to know. I'm just taking pictures. For what, though? And video. For what? For public interest. You probably know this is, uh, you know, COVID-19 is one of the biggest stories in the world right now. It's worldwide. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. All right, I mean, I just wanted to make sure yeah. what's going on. Yep, that's it. Yeah, man, um, so I just spoke with my higher up, and we're not allowed to have you recording people here. So we had a few patients actually come through while you're out recording, and that's yeah. against HIPAA. So we want to have, want to keep their privacy while they're getting tested. So we're gonna ask you to leave, or that's what my higher up said. We kind of want you to leave because this is the—it's the privacy of the patients who are getting tested. We can't have you just recording and taking pictures of them. Oh, but you don't have me recording. You know, I'm not—I'm not recording for you guys. You know. Okay, you just can't record or anything with patients in the scene or any of the employees who don't want to be recorded in, okay? Why do you say that? Just, okay, for small HIPAA violation, if you're going to be recording patients who are getting tested who don't have your consent to be recorded, you yeah. can't do that. Did you say a HIPAA violation? Well, that's the privacy of a patient. A, hip know? a HIPAA violation well, is so private? Man, it's just the privacy of the patient who's getting tested. Uh, we usually when the news anchor people come, right? They yeah. have their cameras and stuff. Yeah, actually, I saw ask, a piece from the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to ask consent for the patients who are being recorded if they can be a part of that recording. Okay. Yeah. And so, if you're recording right now, you're catching that guy right over there. You're violating the privacy. You mean the guy in the blue mask that's coming up? Is that who you're talking about? Yes. So you said HIPAA, right? Everything okay? Yeah, it's, it's just like, I don't know why you're here recording. This is because we don't really receive this type of thing. Other than like news anchors and stuff coming through. You don't know why I'm here even though I already told you? Uh, I mean... I said I was here for public interest. Right, okay, yeah. But 
I just spoke with my supervisor, and they were just saying. What's yeah. HIPAA anyway? HIPAA, it's with healthcare, like healthcare regulations. And by, like, it's just the privacy of patients, pretty much, like their identity, their patient health information, stuff like that. It's a, a big thing with healthcare. It's like HIPAA. Like, Is that like HIPAA with two P's? Yeah, yeah, H I P P A. H I P P A. Yes, sir. All right. Um, just, you know, I, I I would be inclined to take what you're saying seriously, mm -hmm. um, except for HIPAA is spelled with two A's. It's H I P A A. Sorry. It's a federal law passed in 1996. It's called the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Has nothing to do with the oh, public taking my bad. photography. That's my that's my mistake. Okay, that's my complete mistake. I'm yeah, acknowledge that. My bad. HIPAA but, um, um, applies to the custodians of medical records, not to the public. You see, so it's it's hard for me to take you seriously because okay. it seems like you don't know what you're talking about at all. I do. I'm just I don't really have to face this type of stuff. So yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna take a couple shots from out here from the other side of the outside of the structure. How about we just clear out all the patients so you can take a picture? Sure. I mean, right now well, we don't have... I, I don't, don't, don't want to go in or we do anything like that. We want to clear out the patients because some of them don't want their pictures taken. We don't know why. What's this for? Okay, I can say this is like the fourth time, you know, Sam have said what it's for. I'm just curious. For public interest. This is one of the world's biggest stories. Um, the free press is an activity that's guaranteed by the Constitution. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or well, are you a freelance photographer or something? Yeah. You just sell your stuff? Yeah. I'm, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a photojournalist, and so yeah. that, that's what I was saying. I'm, I was just, I'm, I'm just curious. Right. Like, yeah, no, I was just confused, too. I was like, I was just wondering, because I saw you come up, and I was like, oh, I wonder if he's so, a patient. So what, what no, pictures no, do you no, want to take What from what angles? What's that? What angles of pictures do you want to take from here? Oh, that well, way, yeah, I'll, that I'll, way I'll on the probably side. take some from here, maybe do some time lapse, take some from the other side. How long are you going to be here? As long as I want. Okay. Yeah. Well, as long as there's people in here, we're not going to allow you to take pictures until they're out of the way. Oh. They don't want their pictures taken. Are you, you going to like stand in front of the camera or something? No, no. I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh. So how are you going to stop me? I'm not going to engage you, man. I'm just not going to engage you. If you're not going to engage <laughs> me, then how are you going to stop me from taking pictures? This, do, you, this, do you also write articles and stuff? No, no, I just uh, I just do video. Oh. Yeah. Um, I generally have people come up to me and, you know, they usually want to, like, you know, me to stop exercising my rights. This is a civil right, I'm sure you know. I'm oh, sure wow. you know this. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a civil right. Oh, yeah. It's kind of, it's not that appropriate to... I to um, from the beginning. And I'm, thank you for correcting about HIPAA. I... For some reason, okay, my bad, yeah. Well, the truth is nobody knows what HIPAA means. Nobody, especially the people that are in, um, that are bound by it. You know? Yeah, I don't know how many times people are like, what's HIPAA? They go, I, don't, I have no idea. Well, I have to know what it is because people come up to me all the time and they think that, they think that HIPAA is a way that you can somehow violate civil rights. So they say, we can't have you engaged in this civil rights activity or this constitutional right because of HIPAA. And HIPAA really doesn't have anything to do with violating people's rights. It's, just, it's records retention. I mean, I can't even call and get information on my wife unless she puts me down oh, as, really? as somebody who can get records for, for her. Yeah, well, um, definitely if I hear private information here or if anything gets picked up like that, um, I, I'm not going to have on the record. I'm, I'm not going to, I might record it unintentionally, but I'm not going to publish it. But, uh, yeah. I totally understand. You know, mostly I just want to be like left alone, and then I'll probably be, you know, a little bit, and I'll be out of here. You know. Where'd you park? Did you park down there, or you came from? Where'd you come from? Over here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I live in the neighborhood over here. Oh. So when you get through, why you just contact somebody and and sell your story or your pictures or video? I to usually put on YouTube. Oh, do you? Yeah. Um, YouTube. Uh, they give royalties for whatever. Yeah, well, I know. Yeah, so. so what I'll do, sometimes got, I'll, I'll put music to it. Yeah. Sometimes if nothing happens, like I might do a shot like this right. with people coming in and out, and then I'll put music, I'll do a time lapse. Right. Um, what, other, what other places do you record? 
I record lots of COVID places. I record at the police department. Uh, I record at um, this Washington State laboratory right here. Yeah. Um, you got a lot of followers? Yeah. Or, I mean subscribers? Yeah, I got about 100,000. Ah. Yeah. Local. Local subscribers? No, no. All over the world. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I mean, like, you're local. Like, oh, yeah. Local. You're local Seattle. I'm from here. I'm, at, I'm, I'm from Portland originally. Yeah, I'm from Vancouver, Washington. Oh, cool. So okay. super close. Super close. I kind of like uh, Vancouver. It's quiet. It's quiet, man. Whenever I go downtown Vancouver, it's like... It's like being in a, like a tiny town with no one around. It's like a ghost town. It's like what? It's like, yeah. It's like one-eighth of, like, half of Portland or something. You know? It's like... Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, am don't... I, okay. Am I able to be cut out of the footage since I don't want to be in footage? Well, you know, <laughs> probably if I if you didn't come up to me, it wouldn't be in it, you know? Well, I'm just saying, like, I don't want to be in the footage. Yeah. That's... Because I just don't want to be recorded. I understand. Um, to be honest with you, you'll, you'll probably be in the footage because this would be probably the most interesting part of the video, you know? <laughs> it's it's um, a lot of people that record in public that do what I'm doing now. Yeah. They they're recording under their free press right, mm -hmm. which is a, a right covered in the First Amendment along with speech. You know, so right. when people come up to you and they want to stop you from doing that, especially when they're using COVID and HIPAA and stuff to do that, you know, it's um, it's a little tyrannical. You know, and we're kind of in tyrannical times. Where everyone needs to. the last couple years. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And that's kind of like the story about COVID, you know, is how people use this COVID thing to now bring in all this new tyranny. Uh, and just think about it, man. You you probably have to to wear your mask, right? Yeah. You're, you're literally required to cover your expressive organ. The organ that you ex express out of and, and speak out of. Think about it, man. <laughs> so, so you know. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get back to work though. Yeah, definitely. Nice talking to you. Is this the only patience right now? What? Is this the only patience you guys have right now? Yeah. Do you have a, a minute when there's nobody in here? No. No. Right now what's going on is these officers along with everyone else they're having a little powwow there's some phone calls being made um, they said they're not going to allow me to take pictures but when i challenged them and asked them how to figure out stopping me they said they weren't going to engage and when i asked them how they were going to stop me if they weren't going to engage me they didn't really have an answer for that so I tried to do my best and be honest and educate them uh, without giving too much information. But uh, now it's been, I don't know how long, maybe 10 minutes. So it will give us some time and see what happens. Nothing is absolute, everything changes, everything moves, everything revolves, everything flies and goes away. Frida Kahlo. We shall return.